boxers are appointed by the World Boxing Organization and the British Boxing Board of Control. And your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Zoltan Enhidi from Hungary, Mr. Paul Thomas from England, and Mr. Donald Trella of the United States of America. Your WBO supervisor is Isvan Koko Kovac of Hungary. Your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge this evening is Mr. Charles Giles. Your timekeeper at the bell is Jim Kirkwood. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Michael Ortega of the USA. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, in the blue corner, the challenger. He enters the ring with a record of 28 wins from 30 contests, with seven wins coming inside the distance. Wearing the black and silver shorts, weighing in nine stone, three pounds, 12 ounces. The wait is over. Tonight, he makes his first challenge for a world championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Cobridge in Scotland, the reigning super featherweight champion of the Commonwealth, the WBO number one contender, and the challenger for the title, Ricky Burns. Across the ring in the red corner stands the world champion from Puerto Rico wearing the black, white, and red shorts, weighing in nine stone, two pounds, 12 ounces. He enters the ring with an undefeated 24 wins and just one draw, with 15 of those wins coming by stoppage. Tonight he makes the third defense of the title he won in Manchester last year. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing the reigning WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World from Bayer Baxa, Puerto Rico, Roman Martinez. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. Caballeros, get on una pelea limpia. Protect yourself at all times. Okay, good luck to both of you. Buena suerte a los dos. Toca los gloves. How good Ladies is and Puerto gentlemen, Rico's 12, three Roman rounds Martinez. For the WBO World Super Featherweight Championship. And how does the light punching, but skillful and awkward Ricky Burns come out. The victor is trying to follow in the lines of Scottish champions over the years. Tansy Lee, Johnny Hill, Benny Lynch, Jackie Patterson, Walter McGowan, Ken Buchanan, Pat Clinton, Paul Weir, Scott Harrison, Alex Arthur, and the man to my left, Jim Watt. Chances you give Ricky Burns tonight, Jim? Well, we know eh, Martinez has been brought up in a, a tougher school, but he's probably never boxed anyone with the style. Of Ricky Burns, so if Ricky can keep this at long range, get that jab working as he's trying to do at the moment, I don't think Martinez is exceptional in any one department. I think he can be outboxed. We didn't maybe see him long enough against Cook. But this is a good start, good positive start from Burns. It's a very confident beginning from the challenger, from Coatbridge, Ricky Burns. What an atmosphere in here. Thousands of fans. Hoping, but Martinez has never lost in 25 fights. One of the things that worries me about Martinez, he is a good body puncher, and uh, with the tall, elusive Ricky Burns, I think he'll be working the body as this one goes along. But we couldn't have asked for a more positive start from Ricky Burns. Good use of the right hand, bit wild and woolly, Martinez who had difficulty in the first two or three against Nicky Cook, who was boxing really well in Manchester, until Martinez turned it all around in the fourth. This is good from Burns. Yeah, but he's very relaxed. He's not tense in the slightest. Uh, I liked his demeanour when he arrived in the arena, and I liked the way he settled nice and quickly. As good a start as we're going to have hoped for. Good solid right hand from Martinez there. He's defended his world title a couple of times, both inside the distance as Burns tries to whip in a hook. He'll need a tight defense, 
at times, you'd imagine, Ricky Burns. And he has been easy to hit on occasions. I mean, you have to wonder, is Martinez just holding off, having a look at Burns? Do we give Burns full credit for this start? Because already he's having to hold because of the pressure he's under. The chopping punches from Martinez. And that right hand floors Ricky Burns. Just over 30 seconds left in the first. He looks in his corner. There's the power from the Puerto Rican. I mean, sometimes fighters come in but with the attitude. I'm just going to give everything for a few rounds. And if I don't win, I'll go out on my shield. Hopefully that's not the way Ricky Burns is looking at this, but he can't afford to mix it with this fellow. And Martinez is getting close too soon. Was floored three times by Carl Johansson, but took him the distance, Ricky Burns, in one of his two defeats. But this is up in level from Commonwealth to World. A big jump. One mistake is all you've done. Yeah. One mistake, you're trembled up. You won that round by that punch. It's wasted the whole round. Come on, get behind help. the jab. Think, think. OK, pal. Billy Nelson's right, such <laughs> a lovely get, start, yeah, and then all ruined yeah. by one shot. He's eating your jam. Yeah, and that's a worry, and I mean, it was the first solid like punch that, that landed. I mean, it hasn't shaken him badly, you know, there's no lasting damage, but it's uh, worrying that the first decent punch, and it didn't even look like a full-blooded shot to me, he was looking straight back as he took the punch. So that is worrying, the first worthwhile punch, uh, and it's the last thing you want, especially when he seemed to be doing well. Corners, 10 seconds. Well, at the end of last season, we saw Matthew Hatton rise seconds in the European in title defence after a first round knockdown to retain his belt. <laughs> Test of nerves now for Ricky Burns. How does he go about it? What's going through his mind in the black and silver, the Puerto Rican colours of Roman Martinez? One draw, the only blemish on the WBO Super Featherweight Champion's record. Looking good when he can come forward. It's when he's back up that you start to get worrying about him. He really was looking the part, so hopefully that hasn't dented too much of his confidence. He's got those long, lanky arms, Ricky Burns. First impressions when he outboxed Graham Earl. Lovely win that, and he backs up Martinez. He complains about a shot to the back of the head. I thought Martinez turned away from the punch, so really he's uh, partly or mostly to blame for that. There's the right, almost landed again. He knows he's got the equaliser, Martinez. Is he just going to draw Burns in and launch one again like that? Nice little right hand back from Burns, but uh, you have to say 12 rounds is a long time at this level when you don't have much of a punch yourself, and that's the problem for Burns. Only seven knockouts in his 28 wins, Ricky Burns. The problem is how does he keep this guy off him for 12 rounds? I mean, he's finding the target, Burns, with just a little bit more snap in those shots. Although he hasn't given signs of discomfort the couple of times he's landed cleanly. But uh, Martinez uh, looking businesslike, not producing, not, not landing as yet. But showing he knows how to get close. Burns comes forward, trying to pressure Martinez, who looks in his corner and smiles, as if to say, is that the best you've got? Well, Burns is keeping him occupied as he comes forward, throwing punches, but when there's no authority in those punches, then you wonder how long he can do this. He's expending a lot of energy to get the bits of success he's getting. As I say, 12 rounds is a long time. Right hands for Ricky Burns. Doesn't look ring rusty. He's been rather inactive of late. Just a warm-up fight against Yusuf Al-Hamidi. Non event really on the big... Kevin Mitchell, Michael Katsidis, Bill in May. Well, we're seeing nothing exceptional about Martinez in any department, and we're seeing that here. He is pretty crude, but he's getting close to Burns. Good up up from Burns. <laughs> Lovely shot there, but he doesn't flinch, Martinez. That's the trouble. And a right hand 
back and body shots. Tries to turn up the heat. Good up again again from Burns. Decent round. Have you ever seen a glacier while sunbathing? Why not? Have you ever climbed a rock wall in the middle of the ocean? Or tried something really crazy? Why not? It's all possible in the nation of why not. Royal Caribbean's floating nation where you are free to do anything you want, which may be nothing at all. Royal Caribbean International, the nation of why not. Standing a little bit too tall when you're going backwards. Okay? Keep your chin down and elbows down when you're going back. Relax, okay. relax your shoulders and keep your chin down when you come away. Better, right. Much better. Okay. Now let's work one. Billy let's Nelson and one. Dean Powell experienced corner, and that was Corners better from Burns. It was better there. I mean, it wasn't all that smooth, but it was effective. Seconds and we'll settle for that. Eight. Good uppercut. Patiently played the waiting game. Ricky Burns. He's been the WBO number one for quite some time. The fight was meant to go on in Puerto Rico. But the promoters couldn't come up with the money and Frank Warren managed to get Ricky Burns home advantage. How crucial is that? It certainly will help Burns. But Martinez has won in England before and in America. Martinez doesn't look all that when he's pushed back. A bit of a crude look to him at times, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, he's a fair puncher, and punchers can be frustrated, and that's what Burns should be doing, get his punches off and then get back out of there. Jab working, good right hand, this is good stuff from him. The lovely shot, disorganised, ragged there. The WBO champion. Martinez is only interested in throwing bombs, he's trying to hurt Burns, and this is good because he's more or less telegraphing what's coming. Yeah, Burns with the uppercut. Boxing beautifully at the moment, Burns. Picked himself up off the canvas in the first round, Ricky Burns, but he's always had plenty of heart and bottle and a good chin, which he's needed from the lack of power. Yeah, I think Burns showed in his two losing fights against Johansson and Arthur that he's tough enough to box at this level, and Arthur was one class at the time they boxed. So he's been pretty much at this level, and he's boxing well. Yep, some decent results on the Burns slate as well. St Michael Gomez into retirement, beat Kevin O'Hara. Trouble is, Martinez has had an education overseas against more tough opposition. This is good from Ricky Burns, though, in the third round. And we're seeing nothing from Martinez. This should worry us at the moment, apart from the punching power. Finish them. He looks all at sea. Martinez, balance. And he's slugging away. Naive and crude but still very dangerous. Well, if Burns can continue to frustrate and annoy him... Oh, beautiful up again. And Martinez shows a chin. He says he's never been down amateur or pro. But he's in all sorts of trouble in this third round. What a start to this world title fight. Technique-wise and defence-wise, he's landed that right hand again. That hurt Burns, and the left. Turns it all around just with one shot. That's the problem for Ricky Burns. Got to suck it up, but Burns takes the session. Great noise from the fans here. For the single kick that can change a match. For the genius touches Absolute perfection. that come out of nowhere. This is getting tasty already. And for when a team reveal their true colours. High definition. Do the beautiful game justice. And watch it at its best on all five Sky Sports HD channels. Sky. Believe in better. Ricky Burns, who's been in this game since October 2001, and he had his moments in that third. Yeah, but the looks we're seeing is the lack of power. Well, a couple of seconds. times he's forced uh, Martinez back onto his heels. 
and nothing much wrong Seven's with that uppercut, that was a beauty. Four. Martinez obviously dangerous when he's allowed to come forward, but that was an excellent round for Burns. Doesn't matter too much about a lack of power if you're hitting someone on the chin and cleanly. Defence of Roman Rocky Martinez has not been watertight. Nothing like it. And the crowd are starting to believe there could be something quite special unfolding. Yeah, the speed and the movement of Burns giving him all sorts of problems. See, he's been setting himself from the opening round for big punches, Martinez, and Burns can see exactly what's in his mind. Just pouring with the jab, Martinez in fight number 26, the 31st. And of course, the most vital in the whole career of Ricky Burns. Very few people anywhere in Britain gave Burns a real chance of winning. He does, doesn't he? He has a great chance because Martinez is forcing everything. He's missing wildly with punches, which empties the, empties the tank a lot quicker than if you're landing. And look at the response from Burns. Body shot, uppercut. Going through the repertoire here, Ricky Burns. Some stuff we haven't seen in the whole of his boxing life. Is he saving it all for now? But there's that right hand of Martinez. Well, I expected to see Martinez hunting the body, but any time he comes close, the jab's catching him, the right hand's catching him. Tactics working perfectly for Burns. There's the upper target. Wonderful work from Ricky Burns, and Martinez just trapped on the ropes. He's got the problems to solve now, the champion. Still trying to wind up the bombs. Here as Burns is relaxed, he just keeps the punches flowing. Looking as though he can do this all night long. Looks at his corner, Martinez. As if to say, I'm uncomfortable in here. I can't fathom out the style of Burns, those long arms, raking punches. But Burns is having the better of things up close, which is really a big surprise to me. This is tremendous stuff from him. Well, Martinez looking anything but a world champion at the moment. You know, decent form, beating the likes of Daniel Jimenez. Nicky Cook in this, the fourth round. But Ricky Burns is dealing with him. And boxing really quite nicely. There's the uppercut back from well, Martinez, that unsettled and unhinged Nicky Cook. Got to be careful every minute he's in there, Ricky Burns. Well, I was delivering to a customer. I had to go through a narrow iron gateway. The gate swung in on me, crushed me against the other side of the gatepost. If you've been injured in an accident at work and it wasn't your fault, you could get compensation. Call BGR Bloomer on 0800 1777 010. Their service is absolutely free. I thought they were just excellent, excellent service. BGR Bloomer. Fast, friendly and free. Discipline, discipline yourself. Inside, you're ever a bit as strong as them, right? You're hurting them to the body. This is fascinating. Yep, Martinez can't seem to file him out. Call what he has in front seconds. of him, he doesn't have any plan. His boxing's totally disjointed. Second looking zone, crude, as I say, looking anything but a world champion. So, just to recap. Ricky Burns with a good start in the first, but he was down by a super right hand from Roman Martinez. Since then, it's been the Puerto Rican who's been on the receiving end. Bit of a boxing lesson at times as the Commonwealth champion rises in level on his biggest night. Still plenty of work ahead. Good uppercut. He's had terrific sparring, Ricky Burns, and he looks right on song. Timing, great. Yeah, well, that look of confidence that you brought with him here tonight, there's good reason for that. Look at the hand. Beautiful headshots from Burns, and Martinez in real trouble here. First minute of the fifth round. He tries to throw the hooks back, but it is Burns in complete control of the moment. To this WBO belt. 
Martinez really looking flat footed. I think he's feeling the pace. He's forcing every punch. Buns now warm to the task so he can take these punches from Martinez. Tremendous performance from Buns. But what Burns was saying to us before, and he had to be careful because when Martinez is hurt, he's very dangerous. And there's the left hook. It's as if a switch just wakes him up. But he's been on the end of some punishment already. The champion back with a right hand. But I can't believe how reckless Bums has been by getting away with it because he's taken charge, he's taken the initiative, and it's working. I thought he would have to counter punch this fellow to, to victory, but he's actually outgunning him at times. Clumsy charges in from Roman Martinez. Bit low with those body shots, tries to whip up an uppercut, but it's Burns who's landing the better shots at the moment. Terrific fight, Jim. Tremendous battle. Totally different from what I expected. Martinez looking dangerous at the moment. But again, Burns always with an answer. Like marking around the right eye of Roman Martinez. Look how out of range he was there, but he knows if he can connect on that chin again. He's floored Burns already and could turn this around. Right hand for Ricky Burns. So off balance there. Martinez. And the bell comes and saves him. And he is on wobbly legs. And the Scottish crowd. several times, he's forcing every punch that he throws. He's looking flat-footed as though he's struggling with the pace, as in the condition he should be in. He's actually been hurt by the clean shots from Ricky Burns. Ricky Burns flying at the moment, on the march. Everything falling into place in the perfect night of his career. Tremendous performance from him. Okay, at times, Martinez looked dangerous in that round, but look at the response from Ricky Burns, puts him straight back onto his heels. Just about getting our breath back here, round six, what happens next? Remember, Roman Martinez was not a red-hot, a white-hot favourite before this started. Now, the bookies can't split them. Still, he presses forward, and he's got knockouts early and late, Martinez. But it's the way that Burns is boxing, keeping to a plan at times, and trading at others. Yeah, and although Burns is not a puncher, he's looking physically stronger than Martinez. His legs are looking good, his movement's good, his reflexes are there. Martinez struggling to get the punches off. And Jimmy might have been struggling at the weight too. He came in at 9-2-12, well inside the 9-4 limit, which is often a sign that he's taken something off late, maybe. Different climate as well, Puerto Rico to Scotland, vastly different. Yeah, and sometimes he's boxing away from home and you're not using the scales you normally use. Just that shaking his legs there as that one landed as well. Body shot from Burns. Back comes Martinez, and already Ricky Burns has done himself so much good. The pride and the way he's fought. Can he take it on from here and win this belt in what would be a real surprise and a real boost for British boxing? Probably the longest piece of pressure we've seen from Martinez so far. But Burns still looking strong, still coming back with good solid punches. That one looked a little bit low from Martinez. Pouring the punches out though, the champion. Burns doesn't want to become ragged now. Uppercuts from Burns. Benny, look 
of discomfort on the face of Martinez, but he digs in valiantly and hurls more leather at Burns. Yeah, this is the best Martinez has looked in the fight so far, apart from the lockdown, but look at the response again from Ricky Burns. Fast turning into a battle of attrition. Who wants it more? Who's prepared harder? Who will survive the storm? Good uppercut from Martinez. Picked that well. But a right from Burns. Doesn't look physically as strong to me, Martinez. Now he's been pushed onto the back foot, and that's also taken some of the steam out of his punches. This is great stuff from Burns. Tactics working perfectly. Not great stuff, it's the best he's ever boxed. Have you ever seen a glacier while sunbathing? Why not? Have you ever climbed a rock wall in the middle of the ocean? Or tried something really crazy? Why not? It's all possible in the nation of why not. Royal Caribbean's floating nation where you are free to do anything you want, which may be nothing at all. Royal Caribbean International. The nation of why not. success well, rate with him he's notching up these rounds although martinez had a spell in the last 